year in both in terms of an overall economy and especially in the gaming let's see as a whole certainly certainly back to war oh. pc gamer reports a russian streamer known by two names and again i apologize this is i believe russian names i will butcher this i will try though Nevazno, kut and velichashi 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 Leaks, <laughs> leaks the existence of a console port of Stalker, a PC game that debuted in 2007 and is getting a sequel sometime in 2023. The streamer released the footage of the game running and a five-page document detailing uh, he leaked the footage because GSC Game World has discriminated against Russian fans by encouraging them to donate to Ukraine's Comeback Alive Foundation that funds defensive equipment to the Ukrainian armed forces. It is worthy to note donating to Ukraine is a crime in Russia, Nizanho's main issue with all this, seemingly, according to him, is that GSC did not make any Russian supporters aware of the potential consequences of donating to the fund. When asked about this by PC Gamer GSC, he said, quote, We have been publishing pleas to help Ukraine in our social media and our web resources, just like thousands of other Ukrainian companies. Nonetheless, an important thing to mention is that we also added clarification about the donation from Russia later on. We think we might be in the absolute minority, if not the only ones, to do so. End quote. Nizanho? Nizanho ended with, quote, I hope that everything ends with this. It doesn't matter how I got it. What's important is I didn't lie, and this is not some fan mod. This leak was made out of a desire to achieve justice, which I saw in revenge by any means at all. This was a cry from the soul, end quote. Very Russian at the end there. <laughs> Very Russian at the end. That is that is how they talk. Um, this is loaded, my friend. How would you like to defuse the political bomb that we uh, are currently facing here? I will start us off, um, and I will cut the blue and red wire. So, <laughs> this is a situation of uh, first off, very interesting that this guy just straight up was like, "Fuck you," and. Apparently, what he said was he got this from an employee that was also upset that they were donating to Ukraine uh, to the defense fund that he might have been Russian or something. Unclear how he got it. Unclear if he's being 100% honest. Maybe he is. Maybe he's being truth. Lucky. It is. It is strange that. How do I want to put this? It is strange that they are. Making the donations to the fund, but it is technically a crime in Russia, and they didn't disclose that. So I do understand his frustration. Now, do I understand that he, like, somehow got a footage from the game and leaked it and then, like, had this manifesto situation that, like, told him how upset he was? I don't know if I can agree with you on that. It seems like a little overboard of the situation, but Russian and Ukrainian tensions obviously high high highly tensed of course with the russian evasion of ukraine so i understand from his point of view that he got pretty pissed when he saw this don't think it was uh very called for for him to do any of this but i digress i don't want to beat up this guy too bad because i'm sure given uh rose versals i would be upset too although i highly doubt I would do any of this shit. <laughs> I would just be like, "Oh, yeah, that sucks." Oh well. <laughs> like, but yeah, I try to. I'm trying to give him a better of doubt because he's a Russian person. Of, I'm there's so much propaganda. The word God knows what this man yeah. believes. So he could mean well, uh, but uh, it does. I, I do feel bad though that like it seems like they tried very well to be like. First off, these were based in Ukraine, so I don't know what I don't know what you thought stance they would take. What did you yeah. think their stance would have been? Did you think I'm they would have been cool? For bombing my homeland. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to fund Russia. I don't, I don't know, but they should have disclosed it. It's apparently no one does. I mean, that's what GSC said. I mean, he's like, we're one of the Obviously. only peoples that did disclose that it is a crime. So like, don't blame yeah. us. Um, I think there's millions of ways you can take this. Uh, I, I feel bad for both GSC and this gentleman. God knows, uh, what he may believe. I feel like uh given role reversals i probably would be right there with him but i hope that i hope that he feels some s sort of satisfaction so he doesn't do this again i don't know this is such a <laughs> fucking weird situation with like 
huh. this is the way you get back. I don't know. I, I maybe you could have just emailed them and then gone on with your life. I don't know. I'll say this because this is a story. I've only heard half of this story. I heard about the link of a console port of Stalker, which for me got me excited because Stalker is one of those games where it, it's notoriously janky, but it did a lot of interesting things. And that's always like the most interesting type of game for me. So right. I've always been interested. I don't know if I wanted to play it, but I definitely wanted to know more about it. So being able to play it on a console, potentially, that's exciting. I don't know if that's actually going to come out at some point, but also if unclear if it was real. It does look real, but it's un I'm, I mean, we're going off. Oh, of at this point, I'm sure that it's real. I'm just more thinking, is this actually something they were working on with the intent to release? Mm. Or is this something that, oh, we were working on it in 2009 and it fell through or something? Cause like it's been a long time since the last stalker game. Like what Clear Sky, I think, might have been the last one. Or no, that's the first one. Uh, Shadow of Chernobyl and Clear Sky are the two. But he, one of them came out more recently than the other. And that was like maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> maybe like eight or nine years ago. But in any case, um, it's been a long time since they put out another stalker game. So this console port might have been something that just got worked on and then fell through during that time. So that in and of itself is very interesting to me. A console port of that game could work for me. Um, but the thing that we, throughout this pandemic and a lot of things that have happened during this pandemic, you know, take your summer of 2022 or take your January of 2021. <laughs> we have been thinking a lot about how the countries we are in give us ways to believe the world is <laughs> we that has been a topic of thought for me at least but i feel like that's a lot of people at least in america we've been thinking a lot about like all right how how has the the standards of this country made me make certain assumptions in my mind about how things are supposed to be um that is not a line of thinking that every country has gone through i think the pandemic kind of made a lot of inequalities very obvious in this country and a lot of countries around the world but not every country has the luxury has the luxury of having that information available to them. I know in Russia specifically, um, a lot of their media is state sponsored. A lot of just everything they do has to be approved by some higher management. So you're not going to get contracting contrasting opinions, contract contrasting viewpoints other than what the state wants. So I can't blame this gentleman for not having the critical thinking skills to think, oh, they're based in Ukraine. Of course they're going to want me to donate to Ukraine. Oh, wait, Russia wants to destroy Ukraine or wants to destroy the citizens so they can get the land back. Then of course they are going to make it illegal for you to donate to that campaign. The thing that I'm a little weirded out about, if, you, if you're a fan of this developer and you understand they're from Ukraine, are, you can't, I find it bullshit if he's upset that Russia made it illegal to donate to Ukraine. If you're upset about that, that's a Russia problem and not the Ukrainian developers problem. That's something that you get mad at the state about. And I understand that, hey, it feels futile to be mad at the state because what can you do as an individual? Like, we feel that over here. Trust me. But at the same time, I'm like, so you're going to like, you're going to like leak their game. And it's not just, oh, I tweeted something rash and didn't think about it. You had for several hours or days hold on to that anger to such a point where you want to do all of this and then make a whole video and stream about it and like email back and forth with this other developer like this is a long drawn out thing for that one feeling and it's it's impressive like when people like this is the same thing with like harassment campaigns and stuff where like you were mad long enough to look up their address or something yeah or to send the thing to a developer is that type of energy so I understand that because of the state you're in and the way that you've been raised, this character might not have had the critical thinking skills to think through this in a more rational way. But it's just impressive that it got to this point where at no point did he think I should be mad at the state because he lives in an environment where that is either not possible or is futile. So, yeah, it's it's just interesting to see how, quote unquote, the other half lives. Like people in other countries have to deal with a different country at different standards of thought. So to me, I see this and I'm like, bro, you could have stopped ABCD on this train station ride before you got off at that final exit. But 
I, looking at it from his perspective, like you said, um, God knows what he's been told. Like, uh, that's why I try I, to, like, I, if I remember correctly, they, first off, I don't think anyone in Russia knew about the invasion. And then second, uh, that's true. Yeah. And then second, I believe they, t uh, they've started off who, uh, God knows, I have no idea what they even know now. Um, but I believe they, they, they were, they think that they're, rec they're saving Ukraine because they've been taken over by Nazis. Like, like there's like, yes. it's like levels deep. So it's like, he might they think, have he might think there's Nazis there. I, who knows? So that's why I don't want to necessarily jump on this individual, but I do think you said something very wise. Whereas he didn't for one second go, why is it illegal to donate to Ukraine? He went, Oh, it's your fault for not telling us that it was illegal. You know, like it was very interesting. It seemed almost like he was trying to maybe be upset or something. I don't know. And I'm I, the I, individual, not the system. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I think this was this was an interest, and like you said, this was an interesting look through the mirror and something that we have it hard to believe. Our system's pretty fucked too. Um, I love America, but I, I have lots of problems with it. But we aren't Russia or China, so. I will give us the benefit of the doubt in, in some areas because at least I can get on the internet and the, yeah. they can't really. So, um, exactly. I do hope, uh, I do hope he, uh, hopefully he doesn't do anything crazy because if that last sentence was very strange, but again, Russia, that's how Russians talk though. Like that's, that is, that's kind of normal. I hope this man could find peace without taking any from others. Very wise. Yeah. That's all I got for him rough stuff <laughs> evo <laughs>